is 9, I'm brewing coffee so you're going to hear that, but I just woke up and I have a massage scheduled for 11. My neck has had like the worst pains recently, like it's going into my back, giving me headaches, it's just really tight, um, so I'm going to get a deep tissue massage at 11. That's going to be painful, but it'll be worth it. I need to work on grad school today. So, I'm just going to kind of hang out before my appointment. And then after my appointment, I'll probably be tired, um, sore, hungry. I might take a nap. I'll probably need a shower. If you've ever gotten a massage before, you get all like oily after and very tired because they like push out all the toxins. Um, so I want to kind of get some grad school done before I go so I don't have to worry about it too much after. I am also getting a new mattress. Thank God. So that should come in today. I actually have a lot to do. It's Monday, but it's President's Day, so we have off. It should be a productive day. nowhere to put my camera in my car like most people but I am on my way to get my massage and I just ate breakfast I obviously look like crap did no makeup didn't do anything with my hair literally wearing sweatpants because last time I got a massage 
I learned so quickly that you get like really oily and gross and like I'll definitely need a shower afterwards. So no point in looking cute to literally get rubbed down. So I will check in with you guys after and you'll see how tired I am. Okay. <laughs> Woo, I feel like a million dollars. <laughs> um, I had so many knots like near my shoulder blades, like in the back. So they were really painful. Like when she was digging out, like they straight up get their elbow or knuckles or something and just like push. And I always compare it in my head. I don't know if this is gonna make sense, but like I compare it to when you get a tattoo and if they're tattooing a spot that hurts, at least they stop and wipe and it gives you like a little break. If you got a tattoo before, like you know what I'm talking about, where like when you get a massage, like no breaks. Like they are just full on like, rubbing pushing whatever so definitely hurts but if like if it doesn't hurt then like it's not a good massage if you ask me so it felt so good like when she was like rubbing my feet i'm like good night like <laughs> i didn't fall asleep but like it just felt really good so definitely needed that she said i had a lot of knots like on my shoulders and neck which i already knew she was massaging like up in here so I just already feel like so much more relaxed and my body just feels so much less tense. Um, if you've never gotten a deep tissue massage, you definitely have to try it out. Like it is life changing and it's such like a good self care thing. And it's a dollar a minute most places. So it's really not that bad. I go for an hour or so. 60 bucks, tip them like $15, $20, whatever. Um, so worth it in my opinion. My brother got me into like getting massages. So, um, my little tips if you ever get a massage, bring a water bottle because afterwards you get very lightheaded. Um, so definitely bring water and don't like look cute or wear nice clothes when you go because it's just gonna get oily and yeah. So, all right, well, I'm gonna go home and probably actually shower. And then um, I have a nail appointment at two. These are how my nails are looking now. Very outgrown, they're not gonna focus, but <laughs> they're like really outgrown and my cuticles are so dry. They're always dry, but I love the way this French looks. So I'm gonna do something similar to this. It is almost three. I just got done my nails. We tried something new. I've been really digging this like French manicure looking design on my almond shaped. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you literally know that like this is always what I get. This pink color almond shape. Like I never switch it up ever, but I've been digging the like French vanilla, French vanilla, the French tip type of design. So I'm trying every two weeks to kind of change up that French design a little bit and loving this. My girl Tina kills it every single time. So 
done with that um, and I'm gonna run to the beer distributor because my neighbor is actually going to pick up my mattress with me because it'll fit in the back of his truck so um, I'm gonna get him a case of beer as like a thank you and then I really need to work on grad school I looked at my assignment this week and like before my nail appointment and it's it's gonna be hard it's hard it's gonna be a lot of work, a lot of effort. It's gonna take a while. So I definitely need to get that started today. I need to eat lunch before I work on grad school though because it's literally three o'clock and all I ate today was that breakfast. So I'm starving. I'll talk to you later. All right, so I just got done filming my ER video of February. So that will be up before this vlog actually. So I have the products like in front of me. So I'm gonna work on cleaning all of this up and then oh, I'm dreading it, but I'm working on grad school next. And then I'm just waiting for the mattress place to call me so I can go pick up my mattress. I've had such a productive day, which has been really, really nice. So the mattress company just called and said that um, my mattress is in. So I'm gonna quickly take all of this off put mine in the hallway, and then go get mine. I really just bought Sims. It was on sale for 99. Man, what a weird time of the time. Need to keep busy. Trying to eat the hours away. Who know that I like Milky Way? Wake up, I'm ready to go, yeah Feeling so good in control, yeah Think of the places I could be So I give up and watch TV I think I'm going crazy Pacing around my room Tell me that it gets better being... New mattress is in! I'm so excited! It's so much thicker than my other one, but I love that. It's like way softer. You can hear Queen Aria singing singing in the background if you know you know um so i'm gonna make my bed i have some laundry to put away so that's what i'm gonna work on next the world is upside down and i'm turning inside out tell me that it gets better being alone alone together sit by the window Catching the sun and tracing clouds I can't believe I'm missing crowds Time moving so slow Again I'm staring at my phone Yesterday feels a year ago Wake up, I'm ready to go, yeah Feeling so good in control, yeah Then think of the places I could be So I give up and watch the TV I think I'm going crazy Wake up this morning Make the mistake of turning on the TV Nothing but bad news Empty ever news Rolling on the screen Oh Walk to the kitchen And 
make myself a, a cup of coffee We've got the older man get in a something tan on his balcony Oh, Yeah, we both have been stuck in our apartments for two months too long We don't even get along, but the world just fell apart uh, Straight out of the blue, so in my mind I whisper ciao And I take myself to Tuscany, Italy Riding on a Vespa in a sunflower field, yeah Warm wind blowing and birds are singing in cypress trees Tuscany, Italy Eating carbonara and reading my Alright guys, well I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog there. I put my bed together. I'm pretty much just gonna spend the rest of the night working on my grad school assignment. And I already showered for the day, so I'm probably just gonna eat some dinner, work on grad school, and just kinda hang out. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know to make more vlogs. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.